And with that, we welcome you back to 3 News at 5 on this Friday afternoon. Next to Christy Paul, I'm Jay Crawford. Lena Lai is out tonight. So do you know who we have in tonight? Our in guy. Way, our guy. Our guy. We, he's been sharing some of the most creative, <laughs> over-the-top Halloween decorations across Northeast Ohio. Kudos to all of you here. I am amazed at what you are capable of doing. Yeah, really good decorations. And today, our own Mike Polk Jr. got to experience a local tradition that's been scaring generations in Parma for 35 years. This month, WKYC has been asking you to tip us off to the best Halloween yard displays in the area so that we can check them out for ourselves and properly celebrate them. Many of our viewers were insistent that I check out this famous haunted backyard attraction in deep, deep Parma. Well, I'm already feeling the energy. Tell me about this place. Well, the Haunted Yard is a really immersive haunted house experience. It is a full-scale, full-size haunted house. It spans four neighboring backyards when everybody here is a volunteer. We've all worked for months to build this. We all love Halloween and horror movies, and all the proceeds from the donations we raise will go to the Parma Animal Shelter. How long have we been doing this now? 35 years that it's been going on. What kind of lines are we looking at here? On Easy hour wait, if not more. Wow. Would you mind terribly if I took a little peek in there myself real quick? No, absolutely. Okay, be right back. Take care, Mike. It's been nice knowing you. For the sake of keeping it fun for those who might wish to visit, we obviously won't be showing you too much of the exhibit. How is your evening, Mike? Not bad. But trust me when I say that it is truly remarkable in both its deceptively lengthy expanse. Wow, this is huge. And it's relentlessly creative scares. This is like a, you can see. Oh, geez. Okay, yep. I, I walk right into that. That was my bad. This actually looks just like my bedroom. Same motif. The creepy artistic accomplishment on display at Russo Drive is perhaps unparalleled. <laughs> oh my God, it's a person! Uh, we can show that, that's fine. Like, that's totally fine. But this, we can't show. <laughs> Very upsetting. And these ghoulish magicians were clearly deserving of the highest honor achievable in local Halloween yard decor. <sighs> That'll do. Sir, it's with uh, great humility that we from WKYC offer you this excellence in Halloween decor award. Congratulations. Fantastic. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is Mike filling up on nightmare fuel for three news. Uh -huh. so wow. I'm, I'm fascinated to think, so there's four families, as I understand it, yeah. four backyards. Are you working every night? That's a, that's a lot of work. Well, and it said they've been doing this for months yes. leading up to the big season. So I imagine you're starting this in August. Yeah. And you're working through August, September, October. But now you're ready working every big... night for people to get there and wow. Yeah, but that's the fun part. That's the payoff, I guess. <laughs> um, wow, that is quite the commitment to Halloween, but I'm for it. I, it I, yeah. I think it's great. That's impressive. Yeah, and that group, by the way, looks like a fun group to hang out with. We were saying that when we saw the person. I was like, those guys. <laughs> oh no, they there he is, be fun. he's back. That's our ghost. We see him around this time of year, every year in the studio. Get away. Every year he comes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs>